Hi everyone, Vizzle here and yes, today we finally have that day where I am going to show you how I created my Dead by Daylight totem. And I know it's been a very, very long requested video from all of you and I saw the comments on TikTok and also on my cosplay pictures and also on stream asking me how I created it and I always promised that I would do a video for you and here we are. I'm going to show you step by step on how I created my Dead by Daylight totem using also RGB lights to make it hex and boon. So let's get started. Started. The materials that I use are wood branches in thick and thin. I'm going to tell you also later why you need the thinner ones. Three skulls that you can either find in a decoration store or also online. White acrylic paint, natural jute cord, LED fairy lights with a remote, white lightweight foam clay, big blood, tea lights, pillar candles, miniature glass tube, Fake moss or also real moss, it's up to you. A hot glue gun. Last but not least, a Dremel. So let's start with the first step of the creation of the totem. And here I started working on the skulls. And as you can see, I started drawing the outline of the broken skull first. And I also outlined where I want to cut with the Dremel. I started cutting the wood with a saw, a rusty saw that I just found somewhere in the shed, but it served its purpose. I cut the thick and thin wood branches to my liking. With the Dremel, I cut the hole on top of the skull. And please be careful to use a mask and also goggles because there's a lot of dust and small particles of the skull flying around and I don't want you to hurt yourself. I did the same thing to the other two skulls and then I kept one of the jaws because I needed for later on when I want to create the decorations around the totem. The next step in this process is creating the bones that create the triangle of the totem. As you can see, the totem has a triangle. And here, the small wood branches that I mentioned before come into game. Because you can also buy normal bones, longer bones, but they are so difficult to find unless it's Halloween season and you can find them somewhere. But I decided, or I couldn't find it anywhere, so I decided to make it out of wood. And here I used foam clay to shape and form the joints of the bones. It's also very important before we continue using the acrylic paint that you let foam clay dry. Foam clay takes 12 to 24 hours to dry and it's up to you to decide when you're ready to paint it or not. But I will leave it a little bit like this because otherwise it's going to take a different shape and form if you didn't let it dry properly enough and it's not going to look like bones anymore. After the foam clay dried, we're going to take the next step, which is painting the bones white. After the bones are dried, we're going to add a little bit of a touch to the bones to make it look a bit more realistic. And I took their black acrylic paint and I brushed it lightly on top of the bones. And with a finger, I smudged it to make it look a bit more realistic and also worn out. After the bones dried, I put it together into a triangle since the hex totem is a triangle and I took a hot glue gun to glue everything in place. After the glue dried, we're taking a little bit of the natural jute cord and we're gonna fix or like bind everything on all the three ends of the bones. And this is how it looks. So the next step of the totem creation is we need to create a small platform or surface that we're gonna add between the triangle of the bones. This is very helpful because we are gonna add at the end also a little bit of moss and also the candles. And if you want to carry it around, nothing is gonna fall apart or fall off. This is how it looks at the end and I know it looks messy but we will not see that part at all. It's just for securing the stuff that we're gonna put on it and it's there for safety. 
On each corner of the triangle, we add the thick wood logs and we try to see how it looks. It takes a lot of adjustments because it's very important that the lower part has enough free space to add the candles at the end and also the small details such as the miniature tube glass and also the jaw. Fix it with a hot glue gun and you need to keep it and hold it in place because it's gonna fall apart first if it doesn't dry, so be careful with it. After gluing the thick wood branches, we take the natural jute cord and we wrap it around at, on the top and also use the hot glue gun just to fix it again so it doesn't fall apart. We take one of the skulls and as you can see the top part of the wood branches kind of sticks out and we want to stuck the skulls on top of the out sticking branches with glue. I did a small check with the skulls and shook it a little bit to see if anything is loosened or not and if not this is how it should look. So the next part is going to be installing the fairy LED lights and here it's going to be a little bit more of work and a lot of patience. So I added the LED fairy lights on the inner corners of the wood branch and I did it to all of them and also went a little bit into the skulls because the skulls also need a little bit of light because when you turn it on at night or when it's dark in your room you're going to see the skulls glowing inside as well. After I installed the lights, I tested it a little bit to see if it actually works. And then I added the moss on the surface that we created, covering the fairy lights that are at the bottom. After we added the moss on the surface of the totem, we're going to continue with the small details and like decorations of it. I took the small miniature tube glass and added some fake blood into it. Then I used the natural jute cord just to wrap it around on the top of the glass so it can dangle a little bit. And I did the same thing also with the jaw. And that's it. That's our totem. So yeah, we reached the end of the video and this is how I created my totem. I will put some links down below of the materials that I used. I don't have everything because the skulls, I found them at the store here in Germany. And if you're in Germany, I could tell you where I found them. But if not, I couldn't find them really on the internet. But since Halloween is coming up, I hope you can find some similar ones that you can use for your totem creation. And I hope this will also give you some ideas what to decorate or what decorations to use for Halloween this year. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Watching. please check out all my socials and i also stream on twitch on monday wednesdays and fridays at 5 p.m central european time please leave a comment down below and tell me if this was helpful if you're gonna make it show me what you created there and don't forget to also subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in the next one thank you all for watching bye